Happy Halloween, everybody! Welcome to Broom. Now, you're the first to arrive, so we're going to give the other monsters a couple of minutes to get signed in. In the meantime, I am Dr. Frankie Stein, inventor of Broom, as well as a few other things. <laughs> but the less said about that, the better. How many of you love Halloween? Give me a thumbs up if you love Halloween. Oh, yeah, that looks like almost all of you goods. I love it, too. How many of you are wearing your Halloween costumes tonight? I see so many. I see a dragon or perhaps a dinosaur. No, definitely a dragon and a fairy and a bunny. Oh, an evil bunny. Nice. I see characters from some video games. I like it. And a kitty wearing a mask. Oh, a Chinese kitty, very clever. And a ballerina elephant. A, a pink cowgirl riding a unicorn. Oh, you kids are so inventive. We're really going to need that inventive spirit because this has been such a difficult year for all of us. I've seen treats, kids, and I've seen tricks, but I have never seen a time like this. Trapped at home all this cursed year, we have struggled to persevere. Can't go out during day or night, not an afternoon to reunite. Halloween is around the bend, seems like this quarantine will never end. I never dreamed it last this long And so by now it feels so wrong Not one prophet could have foreseen That we'd be stuck on Halloween So I descended to my lair I got to thinking and that is where I invented this meeting room And I'm so clever that I called it Oops, <laughs> it looks like the waiting room has filled up while we've been chatting. Uh, give me just a second. Admit all. Here we go. How in tarnation did that happen? <laughs> Finally, I thought we would never get on. Wow, we, this is amazing. Look, it worked. Congratulations, Doctor, on your electronic crystal ball. Beelzebub's beard, is that what I really look like? Wee! I can see everyone! Behold, it's as if I traveled through the sands of time. Shiver me timbers, but it's nice to see some familiar faces. Wow, this is amazing, Frankie. What do you call it? I call it Boom. It is designed to be a video, telephone, and online chat service. Uh, through a cloud-based peer-to-peer software platform. 
Is that what? We can use it for teleconferencing, telecommuting, distance learning, and even social relations. Product of Frankie Stein Incorporated. <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> it's going to be the next big thing. I still don't get it! It's a gizmo that lets us see and talk to each other. Oh, he says, yeah! Is it magic? Uh, no, it's science. Like mad science? Weird science? Dark and forbidden science? <laughs> Yeah, probably, oh. if anyone was willing to look into it. Oh good, then it definitely belongs in Nightmare Hollow. <laughs> and not just Nightmare Hollow, but with this new technology. Ah, ah, ah. With this new, dark, forbidden, mysterious technology. Better. <laughs> we can talk to people around the world. Like Davy Jones down in the Bermuda Triangle, or all the way out to Ghost Rider in Tombstone, or even Boris and Natasha in Transylvania. Why be in Transylvania and not in Nightmare Hollow where you belong? Oh, you know how it is. We flew back to the old country for a vacation last spring, and now there's all these travel restrictions. It's a bummer. Tell me about it. And not just monsters, we can also talk to all of the kids who have tuned in. Oh, Hi kids! Hi children! Oh, thank you for coming. Does anybody know why Jeepers is sideways? Jeepers, are you lying down? No. Jeepers, your camera is sideways. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It is sitting right here on my tombstone, perfectly upright. Not your device, your camera. What? Do you see the little circle at the top? You have to turn it. Um, it won't turn. I, I don't, I don't know. No, 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 no. You have to go into your settings and you have to rotate it. Okay, hang on a minute. Now, the reason that I've called you all here... How about now? Well, that depends. Are you floating upside down? <laughs> no! Then you need to rotate the other direction. Ugh. Okay, hang on a second. As I was saying, with this quarantine... How about now? Yes, you're fine. Oh, well, I'll be, so she is. <laughs> Are ye sure that this is forbidden science and not magic? It looks pretty magical to me. Well, I must confess, it probably seems supernatural. In fact, that's why I call it Broom. The name gives a little extra black magic kick for the general public. Smart marketing. I am something of a mad genius. <laughs> Emphasis on mad. Hey, I heard that. That's because I said it out loud. Which reminds me, if you want to say something that is not for the benefit of the whole group. That was for the benefit of the whole group. <laughs> Or if you have distracting noises That's from the background. Wolfie! Or the foreground for it. that matter. Wolfie! As I said, it's a self-distraction where you don't... Where you don't... Okay. Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, no, just go okay. down. I was saying 
that if there is some noises or distractions that you don't want the rest of the group to hear, you can always mute yourself. What myself? At the bottom left of your screen, there is an icon. What's an icon? I would call it a hieroglyph. Oh, gotcha. It's the one that kind of looks like an onk. It doesn't look like an onk. It sort of does. I think it looks like a head in a guillotine. I think it looks like a piranha standing on its tail eating a human leg. It's supposed to look like a microphone. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Disgusting. Who the thought? Anyway, if you drag a mouse over there and click on it, it will turn off the sound. I don't have a mouse. <laughs> I have a rat. I have a towel. I have a cute little bat. <laughs> Look, it, it doesn't matter what you have. Whatever device you use to control your screen, drag it over and click on the microphone. I still think it looks like a head in a gear thing. Uh, see how there's a red line through it? They call that a bar sinister. Ooh, sinister. I like it. <laughs> it means no one can hear you. If you click on it again, your voice is on. I think my toad is going to get crabby if I drag her around that much. It is your choice. I, I want to try it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, Ghost Rider, we can all hear you. You haven't clicked the mute button yet. Oh. Nope. Now you're muted. Do you see everyone? That's how it works. All right, Ghost Rider, now you can unmute yourself. You have to click the button again. The microphone button. The guillotine button. The onk button. The piranha! Hit your piranha! Ghost Rider! Ghost Rider, we can't hear you! Ghost Rider, no! Ghost Rider, no! What in tarnation? How in the world did that happen? It's a special feature of Broom. You're able to pass an object through your screen, into the screen of the last person who spoke. More mad science? Nope. This time it's magic. I added a little touch. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing? Seems more dangerous. I could have been killed. But you're already dead. Oh, you're right. Fair enough. It is amazing. Now look. Frankie, darling, we all agree that this thing you've created is wonderful, mad, dark, new and fantastic. <laughs> but why have you invited us here? I'm glad you asked that. The Nightmare Hollow Coven has great fears about this Halloween. Now, Mother May I, you have called this meeting. Would you like to tell everyone what this is all about? Thank you, Frankie. Now, we all know that it's Halloween, but Nightmare Hollow is under quarantine due to this new novel coronavirus. Now, this, this might... Why, why, why do they call it the novel coronavirus? <laughs> well, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> That's the thing with the coronavirus joke. I'll tell it to you now, but you'll have to wait two weeks to see if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they call this a pandemic, but I think it's actually a pandemic. <laughs> hey, you knuckleheads, this is no laughing matter. How can Halloween happen when in the capital of creepiness, trick or treating is totally taboo and apple bobbing has been abolished? Sorry, Sorry Mother May, Mother I. May I. It is the same here in Transylvania. All the ghosts and ghouls are social distancing. Uh, it's the same down here. Every
every phantom and sea monster is spread to the three corners of the triangle. Oh, here in Tombstone, Boot Hill is practically a cemetery. That's because it is a cemetery. Oh, you know what I mean. Empty as a cemetery. And I hear that in Death Valley, things are even worse. But what can we do? This Corvid pandemic has us all locked in. Not Corvid, that's Covid. Corvid is a raven. I know! Spooky, right? Once upon a midnight dreary and all that. But this doesn't come from ravens, it comes from bats. Oh, sure. Blame the bats. Look, it doesn't matter where it came from or who started it. The point is, it's here now, and it may very well prevent a happy Halloween. Do we actually know the latest restrictions? It seems like I hear something new every day. <laughs> no kidding! It's not pretty. The scientific community just received a notification from WHO listing the activities that are prohibited this Halloween. Uh, who sent it? That's right. What's right? Who issued the list? What list? The list of activities that are prohibited this Halloween. Who issued it? Yes. He means the name. Who? The one who issued the list. Who? That's what we're trying to find out. Who issued the list? I'm asking you who issued the list. That's the name. It's whose name? Yes. Oh, just, just go ahead and tell us. That's it. That's who? Now you've got it. No! Let me try. Frankie, you got the list of Halloween activities. Certainly. Who issued it? That's right. I'm going to murder him. Now, 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 now let me put it this way. Now look here, you lover. I assume this here list came in a letter. Yes. Who signed it? It wouldn't be official if they hadn't. You're right! We should murder him! I don't understand what's so confusing about the Witches Health Organization. The what? No, the WHO. The Witches Health Organization. W-H-O. Do you know what I hate? I hate acronyms. Why not just say Witches Health Organization? Because that takes too long. It doesn't take nearly as long as this rigmarole we just went through. Look, everybody, let's just settle down and see what's on the list. I can't focus. I'm too frustrated. <laughs> Me too. Me three. All right. Maybe we should all just stand up, shake it out, and get rid of all those bad feelings. Come on, everybody. Stand up. Oh, maybe we could do a repeat after me song. Oh. Terrific idea. Do you kids want to do a repeat after me song? Great, but I don't want to lead it alone. Who's with me? I would love to, as long as we sing Pumpkin Man. I love that one. What about you, Natasha? You have a great voice. Oh. I suppose. Let me change the screen so the kids can see you better. Okay, kids. Make sure you're all standing up. Here we go. This is a repeat after me song. This, this is, is a repeat after me song. And a do as I do song. And a do as I do song. All right, everybody. Repeat after me and do the action. Bill. If the brownie will stand still, if the brownie will stand still.
stand still. All right, who's gonna go next? Oh, Natasha, repeat after her. My turn. Mrs. Witch. Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Throw your broomstick in a ditch. Throw your broomstick in a ditch. No, I won't. No, no I, I won't. I don't have to. No, I don't. I don't have to. No, I don't. That was wonderful. Oh, right, my turn. Who's that black cat on the post? Who's the black cat on the post? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care. I will chase him anywhere. I will chase him anywhere. Woo! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Good job, everybody! <laughs> Great job, everybody! Oh, oh, that was so good! I love that song! Oh, I am done! down and get back to brainstorming the best way to have a happy Halloween. Okay, obviously we can't do any of the forbidden activities. Frankie, what's on the Witches Health Organization's list? You mean who? Don't even think of getting that started again. Fine, fine, fine. Let's see here. Well, we have already mentioned no apple bobbing and no trick-or-treating. What about visiting a haunted house? Nope. Or a scary movie night. Only alone in your own home. Well, what's the point of that? The whole point is to be together and be scared. Making a scarecrow. Same thing, alone in your own home. Go on a hayride? Not a chance. Visit a pumpkin patch? Only if you wear your mask and socially distance. That's no good! We want to do something Halloween-y together! Wait! Pumpkin! Pumpkin Patch! That gives me a great idea! We could build a jack-o'-lantern together! How in the world can we do that? Using the pass-along feature that Mother May I added to Broom. Remember when Ghost Rider sh almost shot Davy Jones? That's the pass along feature that I'm talking about. We could each grab a pumpkin, carve one part of the pumpkin, and then pass it to the next person until we have a complete jack-o'-lantern! It's perfect. A, a perfect together apart Halloween activity. It's so crazy, it just might work. Hang on a minute, I'll go get a pumpkin. While Jeepers is getting a pumpkin, you kids can join us too. You can design a jack-o'-lantern in your own home, but right here with us. Get a paper, a, any paper will do, and something to draw with. Crayons, markers, pencils, whatever. And as we carve the jack-o'-lantern, you can design yours. While we wait. Uh, did any of you hear what happened to Dr. Frankenstein's apprentice, Igor? Oh no, here we go. As you know, Igor is a hunchback. And he got tired of his hunch and wondered if there was something he could do about it. So he went to a doctor. When Dr. Jekyll asked him to get undressed, Igor removed his jacket and stopped. I really don't like getting undressed, Igor explained. If you want me to examine your back, we're going to have to, said Dr. Jekyll. So Igor removed his shirt, but not his undershirt. I don't like showing people my back. They always laugh at me, he tried once more. Do you want me to examine your back or not? So very reluctantly, Igor removed his undershirt, and the doctor gave him the once over. How long has it been since you've been to school? asked the doctor. Over 30 years? Why? Didn't you ever wonder? What happened to your backpack? Back? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh what happened to the backpack? <laughs> Turns out it's his hunch. <laughs> Are you serious, Boris? just waiting on
on the kids to get some art materials so they can design a jack-o'-lantern with us. Swell idea! <laughs> it uh, looks like most of them are back. Well then, let's get this party started! What the? Bob's away! Ah! Kersha for a lover, you gangling ghost! A little warning next time! Now I'll have to get me net! Genius. Yay! Yay! Oh, Aren't you forgetting something? You found a way to have a treat. And now it's time for a trick. Oh no! That voice! It can't be! Oh, it is! It's Mr. Spider! Creepy hermit on the hill! You 
don't expect me to be going out, do you? And it stops on the pesky trick or traitors from coming to my door. <laughs> Everybody, hang on! I'm locking him out. There, I fixed it. You must think I'm pretty amazing. Hello, everybody? Anybody? <sighs> that rotten Mr. Spider must have scared them all away. Oh well. At least we got our jack-o'-lantern finished, and I suppose Halloween isn't complete without at least one good scare. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye. <laughs>